Okay, so you've seen our three input devices, the scanning remote, the Environ switches, and the Environ app on our iPad, uh, connected to the hub, the Environ hub, and using infrared signals to control the TV. Now we're gonna show you in one short video, or rather one long video, um, how all three inputs uh, can be used for the iClick to control mains appliances um, on a wireless setup. Okay, so first things first, our switches as our input devices. Um, all of these devices with the iClick are mega, mega easy to get going with. But for sake of argument, I'm gonna start with the switches, show you straight away how to get involved. <clears throat> so what we have here is our iClick, it's plugged into the wall. It's plugged into the mains electric. We know this because A, I've plugged it in, and B, because it's lit up straight away. And you have three different modes in iClick, which we'll talk about in other videos to do with the iClick individually. But for this, for the sake of this uh, demonstration, we're on the middle button here, which is Environ. Then we have our lamp. It's plugged into port number one on the iClick. The lamp itself is turned on as though you would use it in the mains outlet. So if you have one of those, um, <clears throat> here we have our lamp as an example appliance. It could be any appliance that's mains supplied. Just make sure that if you have any buttons, like this lamp has an extra button on its wire, that that's turned on as though you would normally use it. Obviously the lamp isn't on because the eye click is taking the power. So what effectively the eye click does is it controls the power and what your input device does um, gives you, uh, gives you the, the flexibility and the independence to control that power. So how do we get going? Well, it's really, really simple. Whatever is in uh, port number one needs to be paired to pair one. Whatever is in port number two needs to be paired to pair two. So you could have two things built into the eye click and you could have two switches that are set aside. Everything else on this side of it becomes redundant in Environ because on your switch or on your input device, you will choose how you use that input device. So if you remember when we spoke about the scanning remote, we spoke about the hub and we had 24 different codes we could play with across all the different inputs devices, that was the case as well. When you are using the iClick, those 24 codes are no longer needed, but we do have 24 options within each of the devices. And those options give us different functions. So um, on, our, on the instruction manual, you have a table which shows you all the different functions. There's direct uh, for direct input requirement. There's latched for turning it on and then off. Um, and there's lots of different timed functions if you want to give sort of timed amounts of power and things like that. There's also set functions for just on and just off for if you wanted to co-op and use sort of two switches or two devices, one for on and one for off. So you don't need to worry about setting anything up except your input device. So we've got it all plugged in. We have our input device. First thing we need to do, as before, is pair it up. So the same as before. Press pair on the iClick. That starts flashing. And then we press the P on the environ switch. And that goes P as well. So we're paired up. And then we just need to choose our mode like before. So for the sake of this, I'm going to choose mode one to show you it in direct mode. And then I'll quickly change it to mode two. So there's mode one set up just by cycling through the mode options. So now we have that set up. It's all paired up. And the light will come on if I hold it down. As soon as I let go, the directness of that power has disappeared altogether. If I quickly change it to latched, so there we are, number two. Press it once and the lamp comes on. Press it again and the lamp goes off. So it's as simple as that with your switches. It's actually as simple as that with the other devices. You just get a little bit more flexibility. So we will take the switch away and we'll bring in our scanning remote. It's the same again though. So with the scanning remote, if you remember rightly from when we used it with the hub, you do have to change each button to whatever function you'd like. But in this instance, we're just gonna pair the first function, the first button to the iClick. So if we go pair on here, and then hold pair down on the scanning remote and press it there, that's paired to the iClick. So now with button one, we want that to be our latched function. So when the paired P disappears, oh, we cycle through to which button we'd like. So we'll go with the top button again. 
We'll change it to latch, which is number two. Then if I press this button, we get the power come on. Notice I haven't unpaired the switch. You can have more than one device, as we said right at the start of these videos, connected to each different um, section. It doesn't counteract each other. It doesn't cancel each other out. You can have them all doing different things at different times. Okay, so for the final input in input device, we've got the iPad app um, for Environ. Um, you still need to be in Environ mode. It's not the iClick app, it's the Environ app, but you do need the hub back plugged in and you need the app connected to the hub. Now, to um, what I've done here is I've left all the settings for our TV plugged into the app so that we can carry on using the TV f through the infrared signals as much as possible. But now with the wireless signals, we need to connect um, our iClick to control the lamp as we'd like to with this icon here. So what we do is we go into our settings and in the uh, infrared, in the number six section, the sixth button along, we make sure that this is on wireless rather than infrared. And when on wireless, you just need to make sure you connect to the right hub, first of all, to recognize the codes that are set up. Then you need to check the code or the, the different sort of function that you'd like it to be on. So we'll go with latched. And then on top of that, um, all you need to then do is press the pair button on your iClick so that you get the flashing um, receiver node. Press pair again and you get the green tick to show that you're paired. Once that's paired, it's as simple as having any edits that you'd like to make down here. So you could make a physical picture of the photo instead of uh, the icon that we've set up. You can change the colours, etc. Um, you come right back out to the start and it becomes part of your setup. So essentially you could still be using the iPad app to use the TV. But then if you wanted to add the, the lamp to the mix, you'd simply press that button there and press it again to turn off. Nice and easy. So that's the iClick addition to um, our environment setup.